but the car should come with the history. And this car came with it all. I have original pictures, like Polaroids from when it left the factory, when he, the original owner, um, Lieutenant Meyer, left the factory in it. Um, I have pictures of it when it was shipped to the U.S. I have the bill of sale for it. I have all the restoration pictures, which I brought in today, so um, you can see a see some of them. There's there are tons of them. So everything's been authenticated with the way it looked when it you know before restoration to what it is now. All the chrome was original on it, mm-hmm. so they were able to save all of that. So it's um, it's as you know it's authenticated as it can as it can get. And what is the color? What is the, the official It's just called Bronze 679. Um, 679. And then I'll talk about it. There was three browns, the car before it and the car after it. The car before it had more yellow in that brown. That turned into toga brown. Um, the car after mine had more black in it. That turned into sepia brown, which you'll see two years later. And then my color, I guess, just wasn't used. Um, which makes yours just... The only one of its kind in the world. It is, I guess. Yeah, it is a factory paint to sample. Well, they were were just testing, right? Yeah, they they were testing the browns, but it seems like from what I've read, 330, the one right before, was also a press car. So something was telling me that the browns were going to be used as test cars. Mm. Mm. 